Welcome back to the Midwest Dream Car Collection. Uh, my name is Drew Casper and I'm the curator here. And today we're going to talk about our 1981 DeLorean DMC-12. This car is probably one of the most recognizable cars for anyone, if you just saw it on the street anyway. The car was known as the DeLorean DMC-12, but we commonly refer to these as just the DeLorean. The outside of this car is covered in food grade stainless steel, which is a very odd thing to put on a car. The owner's manual of the DeLorean says that to clean this stainless steel, you need a scotch bright pad and gasoline, believe it or not. This car is forever immortalized as Doc Brown's homemade time machine in the movie Back to the Future. This car was built by John DeLorean. He started this DeLorean Motor Company, originally an engineer at Chrysler, and then he moved on to Packard in the early 50s, and he was head of R&D there. He ended up getting a job for GM under the Pontiac division, and so he had a hand in designing and or creating some of the most iconic muscle cars of the mid 60s and 70s. Pontiac GTO, um, the Pontiac Firebird, and the Pontiac Grand Prix. Desiring to build his own motor car was a dream of his all of his life, so eventually he decided to uh, resign from GM and start his own car company in 1975. He didn't actually start producing these DeLorean until 1981, but the first prototype came out in 1976. Originally this car was scheduled to be built in Puerto Rico, but an investment from the Northern Ireland Development Agency is what changed that plan, and this car was built in Northern Ireland. The production of this car was from 1981 to 1983. During that time, they produced about 9,000 units total. John DeLorean was actually arrested in 1982 with a briefcase full of cocaine. And the reason he had a briefcase full of cocaine was he wanted to sell that and basically fund this company. Led to the demise of this car, which is why they don't still make them. Obviously the DMC-12 name, the DMC stands for DeLorean Motor Company, but the 12 stood for this car's original planned base price of $12,000. Uh, it ended up costing over double that $12,000. A lot of new technology was supposed to be introduced with the um, production of this car. And due to budget constraints and a number of variables, they had to cancel those additions. Originally, this car was going to have a Citroen four-cylinder engine. But instead, they had to go with a PRV six-cylinder engine which the PRV stood for Peugeot, Renault, Volvo. These engines were built specifically for the DeLorean Motor Company in northern France and then shipped to Ireland to be put in this car. We'll check out the interior here. The interior is obviously bathed in leather. Everywhere you look, it's leather, but it's also very soft. Like these seats, very soft. This dashboard is padded, um, leather on the all around this console in the center, and the car was designed with a tall person in mind, um, mostly because John DeLorean was six foot four, and he wanted to be able to fit into this car pretty easily. So it's got plenty of space in here. These speedometers only read to 85. The car would go much faster than that but there was a restriction in the 1980s where your car could not have a speedometer 
greater than 85 miles per hour. So that was all that the car has here on the speedometer. It probably went closer to 130 is what some reports say. So like in the Back to the Future movie, they needed to go 88 miles an hour, so they had to custom make a speedometer just so they could go 88 miles an hour. I always thought that was pretty interesting. These here control the power windows, so if the car was on and you push this to go down, it would only do the small section there in the middle of the window. Uh, so it's very similar to like a Lamborghini Countach, which had only a tiny portion of the window that could be rolled down. The rest of it's pretty, pretty well fixed in place. So this is your other cargo area. You could either go behind the seats or you could go up here in this front boot. And this has about four cubic feet of storage space in it. Be sure to come by the Midwest Dream Car Collection to check out this DeLorean as it is one of about 6,500 DeLoreans that remain to this day. Thanks for watching.